My name is Professor Stricker from St. Vincent, Sydney, and I'd like to present today the intermediate results of irreversible electroporation. I'm a consultant to angiodynamics, but I have no other conflict of interest. The inclusion criteria of our patients who underwent focal irreversible electroporation was predominantly for primary treatment with unilateral Gleason grade 2 or favourable Gleason grade 3 disease. The majority of Gleason grade 1 disease in our institution is treated with active surveillance. Salvage treatment was also offered to treat unilateral focal recurrence of any Gleason score. The tumour needed to be unilateral but contralateral small foci of Gleason grade 1 was acceptable for the treatment of an indexed lesion. Almost all patients had a visible multi-parametric MRI lesion and generally a quadrant or hemiablation was performed. Occasionally PSMA PET scanning was used as the imaging modality for localization. A de definition of a significant prostate cancer in our cohort was a lesion of at least Gleason 3 plus 4 equals 7, Gleason grade 2. Any segment of the prostate was treated, including the apex and anterior and basal segment. We generally kept the ablation zone to greater than 3 millimeters from the apex, but as the electricity encompassed 5 millimeters, this indeed extended beyond the apex. We used irreversible electroporation, which is a non-thermal ablating energy using high voltage electrical current between transperineal electrodes. Generally, we treated a quadrant or hemiablation in a regionectomy, not lesionectomy and there was a minimum of 10 millimetres to the edge of a multi-parametric visible lesion. Catheters were generally removed between days 2 and 4, much more commonly on day 2. Our post-treatment monitoring consisted of three monthly PSAs, an MRI at 6 months and per protocol biopsy at one year, which include targeted four to six cores and systematic transperineal biopsies. The patient characteristics were to be presented here were 210 patients with primary treatment. And as you can see, the vast majority of these patients were Gleason grade two and some Gleason grade three and only 8% Gleason grade 1. Almost all patients had a visible tumour on multiparametric MRI and almost all patients were worked up thoroughly with a targeted and template transperineal biopsy. The median follow-up of this group was 44 months. We had no grade 3 or 4 clavian dindo complications and 93% of our patients retained potency at 12 months and almost 99% were PAD free at 12 months. PSA nadir was 3.3 and generally there was a two point drop in the patients after treatment. Infield recurrence was 6% and outfield recurrence was 14% and these included the original 20 on our learning curve. 24 patients had redo irreversible electroporation, of which 75% were successful. Overall, at three years of follow-up, we had a 96.75% progression to whole gland or systemic treatment failure-free survival. 
salvage radical prostatectomy was performed in 16 patients and to date there's been no biochemical recurrence and the positive margin rate in this group was only 6.25%, that is one patient. Over 90% of patients were continent.